Hi, how are you? Good afternoon. Welcome to the live. This is Oliver from Hanan Dream Company. And today, hold a second. Let me turn on this one so that we can start at the same time. All right, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to the live. This is Oliver from Hanan Dream Company. So happy to see you guys again over here. At this live, so today's topic for this live it is morning gallery processing machine. So if you like to start your own gallery business, uh, hold a second. I think there's some wrong something wrong with the internet. Uh, could you just give me one minute, ladies and gentlemen? And if you are from YouTube and this is your first time looking here, do remember to subscribe this channel so that next time we do a live stream you'll be totally noticed. And if you are the board that from Ali, uh. 你有問題啊。Hi everyone, welcome to the live and today's topic is about the modern gallery processing technology and if you are uh, just uh, new to here, if you are just new to like uh, our YouTube, uh, YouTube channel you can give us a subscribe channel, uh, subscribe so that next time we do a live review you'll be totally noticed and if you like to see about the 3D video, if you like to see about the picture, about the feedback from our provides clients, do you remember uh, uh, our assistant will uh, type our uh, WhatsApp number at the below at the comment area, so you can contact us. And during this process, if you do have any question, shoot your question in the co uh, in the comments so that our engineering team and our assistant will reply to you as soon as possible. 你让那个谁注意看一下这个YouTube因为现在有四个人。Everyone, mm -hmm. good afternoon. And right now, if you are just new here, and if you want to see, watch about the uh, video, because later I'm, I'm going to uh, tell you guys about the gallery processing video that uh, in, in, in our factory. And by the way, this is Oliver from Hunan Dream Company. Our company has mainly focused on the uh, developing and producing like all kind of like starch business, flower business, gallery business, about 10 years, 10 years experiences, which we do accumulate so many successful uh, experiences. So if you do need our help, and if you do the high efficiency, low cost equipment, contact to us, uh, our assistant will contact you as soon as possible. And right now our assistant is on the way, came to the live so that later he can, he will text our WhatsApp number at the below. So right now, let's check about the 3D videos, 3D videos uh, about the gallery processing technology and if you are from, uh, if you are watching the live on YouTube, you can also contact to our salesman so that our assistant will tell you how to find about our live that we are doing on Alibaba. So yeah, right now, you guys can see about this video, uh, it is mainly about how we producing, how we producing about the gallery. And we do have like for no matter for the single equipment or for the whole processing technology, we all have it in our factory. So if you do interested about this one, this uh, 3D video about this business, uh, contact us as soon uh, as possible. We do have the best quality with the low cost equipment here. So right now, let's check about the video. And during this process, if you do have any questions, put your question in the comment and also for the viewer that is from YouTube. And this is basically about our whole gallery processing workshop. It is a quite big one with the whole equipment inside of the workshop. And no matter for starch business, uh, flower business, or those kind of business, you can all contact us. We do have uh, about 10 years experiences. And right now for the first one, this is our feeding hopper. Normally we will use the truck to put uh, like the the cassava tubers get inside of this feeding hopper. Uh, and at the bottom for this equipment, there is a vibration equipment. It will keep vibrating to make sure that every uh, materials get on this belt can be a really continuous and really smooth that uh, and uh, lower the pressure for the equipment for the later process. And right now, you guys may notice at the bottom of this part, there is a feeding hopper, which is uh, really high efficient. And then 
it is about our build conveyor here. I mean, for this build conveyor, it is not it is not the most uh, important equipment, but it is like the very essential equipment during this process to do the transportation job to make the whole system really smoothy and high efficient. And right now, you guys can see this is our dry side. This one, it is our dry side. And normally we will uh, put the dry side at the outside of the workshop to make sure like uh, the workshop is totally clean and there is uh, the impurities will not affect it about the later quality for the gallery process. And uh, during this dry side, uh, uh, if you want to know more for this one, for this dry side, you can contact to our assistant and we will uh, type our WhatsApp number at the bottom for that you can contact to us really, really soon. For this dry stuff, it is relatively used in uh, impurities removal for starch or like gallery producing productions. It's a really effective in remo uh, removing about the dirt, sand, small stones, weeds, and other impurities on the surface of the like potatoes, sweet potato, or uh, cassavas. And it is quite simple, and there are multiplying inner spirals design. It is adopted to push the raw materials, raw materials moving forward, and it has a reasonable rotating speed, which can guarantee the machine running smoothly and make material free of the damage. So, as we all know, if in the first process, if our material has already been damaged, it will totally affected about our final gallery quality and the, uh, the, the, the amount. And for this one, uh, it has a really simple structure. It is really easy to maintain and have a low uh, power consumption, which it is a really high efficient uh, equipment here. Welcome to the live. JP, how are you? Welcome to the lab. This is Oliver from Hanan Doing Company. Our company is mainly focusing on uh, producing and development of or gallery starch, uh, potato or sweet potato starch, or a flower business. So if you like to do those kind of business, if you like to start your own business like this, contact to us. Our assistant can reach you as soon as possible to show more details, more feedback from our ProVice clients and the real video that they should uh, shoot to us to show you more details, uh, no matter for our company. No matter for our factory, we can show you all about that. All right, so let's keep checking for this video after this dry side. Normally, we will put the dry side at the outside of the workshop to make sure. And any of you, you guys may notice at the bottom part, oh, you guys can see, see, right? I have to do like this. I have to see like this. Welcome, Joe's. How are you? This is Oliver. And right now, I'm showing you like the gallery processing, uh, pr processing technology. So if you're interested about the gallery proce uh, processing line, stay here and put your question in the comment to let me know what you want to know for uh, our equipment, all right? So right now for this equipment, it is a pad washing equipment. So according to the dirt adhesions and according to the washing difficulties, we can uh, make this equipment into like a double slot, triple slot, or multi uh, slot according to your needs, like if you have uh, really a lot of uh, materials to, to do, you can make it into a double slot or triple slot or multi slot. And for this one, let me lower, let me make myself a little bit lower so that you guys can see clearly. Yeah, I think right now it is the best. All right, so let's keep checking for this video. And right now, you guys can see over this part, it is our head washing equipment. Uh, for this one, it adopts countercurrent washing principle, and by the effect of the paddle rotating, the raw materials flow in the converse direction against the, the water content, so which means the uh, material will go this way and the water will against its way, so it's really high efficient. And it can be made into like a double slot or multi slot cleaning machine in order to prolong the uh, cleaning process. So it, for this equipment, it is really easy to handle, has a really large capacity because you can adjust its capacity according to your needs. 
and uh, energy saving, low water consumption, and stable operation and low terminal damage, which can improve extraction rate for starch pro uh, for gallery processing technology. And this is our paddle washing equipment. And if you are from YouTube, you want to check about the video that we are showing right now, go to Alibaba and search about our our name, which is JZ uh, Doing, JZ Doing. So you, you can check about this one. And today's topic for today's live is about the gallery processing uh, technology and every single equipment in the gallery processing technology, all right? How are you, DJ? Welcome to the live. And if you're doing interested about the gallery business, especially we do have our own office in the Nigeria. So if you like to do your uh, gallery business or like a potato, sweet potato, uh, uh, starch business in the tropical area or subtropical area, our company is the best for you because the quality is relatively high. Our company has done those kind of business about 10 years to be specific, that is 12 years. And we do accumulate so many successful experiences during these uh, 12 years. And we've done, we have done a lot of better promotion on the basis for other countries and other companies. And the, uh, the price, it is relatively low according to other companies because our company it is located in China. And our factory, uh, it is also located in China, but we do have our own factory in uh, Nigeria. So if you like to see that, see, uh, see the material, uh, see the equipment and see the processing line by your own eyes, contact to us. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And right now, let's keep checking for this one. This is the paddle washing equipment. And at the bottom for this equipment, there are so many, uh, like the, the net. Uh, it, is, uh, it is said at the bottom for this equipment. So the fine signed and the stone uh, can be totally collected by the bottom of this equipment. And by the way, there are uh, crevice clients ask about why, how does this equipment adopt a counter current washing principle? Because uh, we do have two two sides, right? For this equipment, we do have two sides. For the inlet side, and one it is called inlet side, and the second one it is called outlet side. So at the inlet side, we, we, we will turn on the valve that is uh, set below of this equipment. We will turn a little bit for the valve. So the water will directly flow from the, bar, uh, from the outlet side to the inlet side. So that is how we adopt a counter current washing principle to make the whole materials washing really, really clean. And by the way, add uh, for this water, no worry about like if, uh, this whole processing line will uh, with a lot of water or this whole processing line, uh, it, it is not environmental friendly. It is not because we are, we are reusing about the water inside of the processing line. And by the way, at the outlet side, the water it is totally new water or, or we can call it like clean water without without question to make sure the final uh material it is clean and by the way for this paddle washing equipment it has a really really small damage for the materials for example like uh there is a kind of equipment in the market that will bring a lot of damage will damage a lot of the materials if you are like to doing the starch business it will totally affect about the amount for the starch uh, obtained. So for this equipment, no worry about that. All right, let's keep checking the video after the paddle washing equipment. And let me show you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, check about the bottom side. There are a lot of uh, bottom net that is set at the bottom of this equipment. And this is the outlet. And uh, before all the materials get out of the equipment, there is the clean water. It is can wash it really clean. And right now you guys can see this one, it is our peeling machine. Cassava peeling machine. And if you didn't follow about our account, do you make sure follow our account because every week we are showing you different things about our company. We are showing you different aspects about our factory or about our equipment. So if you didn't follow about our account right now, subscribe about uh, our account because like, Two days earlier, I totally bring this live directly to the factory to let you guys see the uh, real uh, equipment. For example, like the peeling machine, 
if you have already followed uh, about our account or if you have already checked about that uh, that live before we do two days earlier, you may uh, have like uh, you may notice this equipment that I totally showed you guys two days earlier. All right, if you didn't, that is okay. Hi, Cassava Processing Machine. Yes. Can you help me to put our WhatsApp number at the bottom of for the, the, the comment area? Thank you so much. And then let's keep checking for this peeling machine. And for this peeling machine, uh, I mean, in order to produce cassava crude powder on a large scale, we use this uh, continuous working uh, peeling machine, which is several stainless steel wire brush rollers to rotate and green cassava inner inner and outer layers because for especially for cassavas we do have two layers inner layers and outer layers and adjust the automatic discharging speed continuously the effect is quite good and the price it is uh relatively low it can meet the need for large scale uh production and we, uh, you, you, you can save a lot of labor cost. And for this one, you may be curious how does the equipment working. I mean, for this equipment, it, it is mainly consists of like the shell, uh, stainless, stainless steel white brush rollers, stainless, uh, stainless steel white brush roller, and there is a, a screw propeller and transmission mechanism. So for its working principle, is that the stainless steel wire brush rollers are arranged in an arc shape at the bottom and when the cassava pieces enter from one end the material layer will roll over to both sides and watch off by the rotating friction force of the brush rollers and the material layer will be pushed by the screw propeller and discharged to the outlet well the uh, crushed skin slack falls from the gap of the brush rollers which uh, totally clean our cassava tubers from one end, uh, from one side to another side, and the screw propeller is controlled by an elect uh, electromagnetic speed regulating motor, and with a stepless speed change, so the material discharge speed can be adjusted according to the peeling effect. And right now, you guys can see this is our peeling machine, uh, really high efficient, and the cost it is relatively low. And uh, for uh, this one, it is really durable equipment. You can use it for a really long time. Uh, and if there is something wrong for this equipment, and if you want to update about this equipment, you can easily to change about the paper that is covered on the rollers. You do not need to change about the whole roller because there is the paper covered on, uh, on, on the roller. So no need to change about the whole ruler, just change about the paper to uh, bring more friction. That is our uh, cassava peeling machine. And all right, let's ch keep checking for this video. After this one, and by the way, there is a details I want to show you, especially for this peeling machine, you may notice from one, uh, from inside of this equipment there is pure water there is clean water it is keep adding inside of the equipment why we do that it is because after cutting cleaning peeling about the uh, two layers inner layers and outer layers there are there are made like dirt or some impurities uh, get on the cassava tubers clean cassava tubers so we do at one side there has a water pipe it is connected to this equipment so we keep adding clean water inside of this equipment to make sure the final material that we obtain from this equipment it is totally clean uh cassava tubers and that is what we do for the details how are you ladies and gentlemen welcome to the live basher how are you basher this is oliver from Hanan dream company and you guys can see at the bottom for this equipment that is the outlet for the for the dirt and for the inner layers and for the outer layers which after this peeling machine you can obtain totally obtain about clean cassava tubers all right let's keep checking for this video how are you basher elderly hello friend oh so happy to see you here how's your day going 
How's your day going? And today's topic, today's live topic, it is about showing you modern gallery processing technology. How's everything going with you? And if you interested about the modern gallery processing technology, and if you like to know more for the gallery business or for potatoes, sweet potato starch business or cassava flour business, all contacted to us because every week we are showing you about different items, different equipment and different processing line here. Different processing line here. So if you do interested about this one, stay here, put your question in the comment. Uh, me or our assistant or our engineering team can reach, reach to you as soon as possible. So right now let's keep checking for this uh, uh, gallery processing line. And right now we do have about our Crusher here, the grinding machine. We do have the uh, grinding machine. Yes, right now check about this one. I need a potato starch production line to manufacture uh, glucose. Yes, of course, Basher Audrey, you need a, pot a potato starch production, right? So right now our assistant will uh, reach to you as soon as possible for the potato starch uh, equipment. So you can notice about the, the, the message part, our assistant will reach to you really, really soon and show you about the 3D video, how this uh, potato starch, uh, like the, 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 the single equipment or the whole processing line is working and the 3D videos or the pictures or our previous plant feedback, all right? And I have noticed you have already ready follow us. Do you have any our assistant's WhatsApp number? Do you have it? If you do not have about our WhatsApp number, uh, you can also you can also like leave your WhatsApp number in the message part, which our assistant will reach to you soon, so that can, they can show you more things. Let me send you about our catalog, so you can have a, a oh you, oh you have already know that. All right, so let's keep checking for this grinding machine here. This is our grinding machine. And for this equipment, it is mainly used to grinding cassava tubers into mesh and even grinding. Uh, it has a fast production speed and newly designed with compact structure, uh, easy to disassemble and low manufacturing cost and uh, a really high running speed low energy consumption and steady operation. And by the way, uh, I would like to show you guys no matter for what kind of equipment inside of our company, if it is getting touched with the food, getting uh, getting touched with the starch or the flour or the materials, we are, uh, we are using uh, the material of stainless steel, 304 food grade, so no worry about the equipment will damage. I want to get your project catalog. Yes, I will send you that. Welcome, Evan Jabber, Jabbery. And I, I believe I have already sent you about our uh, project catalog. Have you received it, sir? Have you received it? And this one right now up here, it is our grading equipment. It is our grading equipment and then after the grading let's keep seeing what is the next station and after grading you may notice that this one inside of the video it is not our newly equipment because over at the bottom part it is a head uh, it, it, it had a storage uh, box which we do not use it uh, right now. It will easily to cause the problems of the plug. Plug, so we do change about the equipment and later I will show you about our newest design for the uh, grading equipment here. How are you, Emin? And welcome back, Basher, welcome back. And uh, have our assistant reached to you right now? Have have our assistant reached to you right now? I believe they have already. Yes, my friend. So happy to see you here. And let's keep checking the video. And after the grinding machine, we will have a screw conveyor to do the packing because later we will do the fermentations. Especially for the gallery, it is quite important to do the fermentation. 
uh, steps. And normally we will do the fermentation for two to three days to totally remove about the water content. Normally it is for uh, two to three days. And after that, uh, we do have one of the dewatering equipment so that is a really high efficient. This is one hydraulic press, or we can call it like uh, dewatering equipment. And later, I would like to show you guys about the uh, videos how we how the workers using about this hydraulic press, or we call it like the dewatering equipment. The dewatering machine it is using hydraulic principle to squeeze out the water in the crushed cassava, especially suitable for small-scale gallery and cassava flower processing line. And the material touch part of the machine, it is also made of stainless steel to ensure product quality. Welcome CV, welcome to the live. And I would like to send you guys about our catalog. So if you're interested in any of the equipment uh, directly, let me know so that I can show you about the real videos. Or if you are still here, Basher, if you are still here, I'd like to show you about the potato starch uh, processing line if you're interested. And after this one, all the materials get into the screw conveyor to do the transportation. Yes, all right. So if you do interested, later I will show you about our potato starch uh, processing line, which we do have the whole uh, processing line. And if you're interested about in single equipment here, I will totally introduce it to you. And right now you guys can check about the fryer here. And some of uh, our provides clients, they will add some like the palm oils inside of the cooker to make sure the final taste and the color it, it, in the situation that they want. And after cooking, uh, all the Gary will get into the screw conveyor again. Thank you, you are so welcome, my sir. You are so welcome. And then we have this cooling system to totally cool down the temperature for the gallery because we have our material has been in the gallery, uh, in the cooker before. And if we do the packing right now, it will uh, uh, it is really hard to do the packing. And with this cooling system, it can totally cool down the temperature and to make sure the final gallery quality. And after that, we do have this vibration side. It is that below of the cooling system. For that vibration side, it is to remove the non high quality galleries to make sure the final gallery quality is relatively high. And there are normally two meshes, and you can, according to your needs, to adjust the mesh, mesh number. And it is keep vibrating to remove about the not high quality, low quality gallery, and to uh, all the high quality gallery will directly get into the packing machine, which we set it uh, behind. I will visit your company soon. Oh, you are so, so I, I am so glad to hear that you are about to come to our company or come to our factory to have a visit. It is, I will be so happy if I can meet you inside of the, uh, inside of the, com uh, at our company. We are waiting for you. And right now you guys can check about this one. This is our packing machine. This is our packing machine to do the packing job and all the, uh, uh, like the, the, the galleries will totally packed by this uh, equipment. A really high efficiency one. When will it come, Basher? When will it come? And if you are the viewer that is from YouTube, you can also uh, come to Alibaba and uh, to see about the 3D, uh, 3D video here because right now we are using about the uh, green screen. So if you like to see about what I'm talking about, uh, about the gallery processing technology, type something in the comment to let me know that you are here so that our assistant can uh, tell you how to come to Alibaba and check about our uh, video, about our uh, catalog here, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So that is, this is basically about the whole gallery processing technology.
And this whole process is mainly about uh, three parts, like the uh, washing parts to remove, to remove about the impurity part, and we do have the process part, and we do have the cooling and packing parts too. You have all my numbers. Yes, <laughs> I believe so. Since you about to uh, have a visit in our company, I believe our assistant have already have all your numbers. <laughs> And I believe when you come to our company to have a visit, you will, uh, you will not be disappointed about our equipment's quality. You will not you will totally satisfied with the quality and with the, with, the, with the price. I believe that. And this is the dry side. Welcome, TT. How are you doing? Welcome to the live. And this is our peeling machine. And like uh, two days earlier, I just came, I just went to the Factory to show you about the uh, whole equipment because our workers it is producing a lot of about this peeling machine at that time. So I do show you about every single details about the rollers, about the paper that covered on the rollers, and the uh, uh, watering pipe and how this equipment is totally working. <laughs> and if you are interested about this peeling machine, if you would like to know more about the real video that our provides clients sent to us. Contact our salesmen, they, are, they can help you with that. So why are we using about this peeling machine? In order to produce like some crude power on large scale, we use this uh, continuous working peeling machine, which use several stainless steel wire brush rollers to rotate and bring cassava inner, inner and outer layer, because especially for, gary, uh, gar, uh, for cassava, those kind of material, it is so special. It have two layers, inner layers and outer layers, and adjust the automatic discharging speed continuously. And the effect it is really good, and the price it is really low. So it can meet all your needs uh, of large scale production and saving a lot of like labor costs. Because uh, if you, because if you have like, if if you want to do the large scale, if you have a really large capacity, you have a lot of materials to do. This equipment can really help you really efficiently, saving you a lot of labor cost and saving you a lot of time. Because uh, if you're just using the, the labor, using the worker to do those things, to do like cleaning and peeling, that will cost a lot of time. That will cost a long time if you do have a lot of materials. So with uh, those equipment, you can save a lot of labor cost and uh, time. Really high efficient one. All right, so after this one, I'd like to show you the 3D video about can, uh, can the water be reused in the peeling machine? Yes, thank you so much for your question, Basher. That is a really good question. Yes, it, uh, also, uh, you can reuse about the water in the peeling machine, especially the inside water, you can reuse it, but at the outlet, uh, but at the outlet we, ha we want to make sure all the equipment, all the material, it is uh, totally cleaned. Uh, you can, according to your needs, to choose to reuse about the water or use the new water, the clean water. Because after peeling that, we want to make sure the final material it is totally clean. That we can do the grading, we can do like the the cutting or the grading. Uh, so we sometimes we will use about the clean water, and sometimes we will use reuse about the water. But at the first place over this part, let me show you, at this paddle washing part, and at this, inside of this equipment, the inside water, it is using about the, 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 the reusing water, we can use the water uh, several times, and at the outlet for this equipment, we are using the uh, clean water to make sure the material, it is, it is a very good, yes. So, this is a paddle washer, a paddle washing equipment, and uh, for different materials, like for cassavas, it is more suitable for the uh, paddle washing equipment, but for like potatoes or sweet potatoes, we have the rotary washing equipment, and for that one, it is also adopt counter current washing principle. Later, I, will, I, I would like to show you that, my, uh, my sir. And this one, it is the paddle washing equipment that is more using, more suitable for the cassava materials. And if you do have any other questions uh, directly, 
Do you actually put your question in the comments like this, sir? And this is the peeling machine. Two days earlier, I went to the factory and told to show you about every single detail about this peeling machine. And to the workers, at that time, I'm doing the live, the worker it is doing, it is producing about the peeling machine. After this video, I like the Basher Audrey, I would like to show you about the potato or sweet potato processing line, since we have the time for today. And after the grading, we normally do the two to three days of uh, fermentation. Okay. Let me find about the 3D video here. I mean, this morning. Uh, I'm not sure what is the time in your place, but in my place in China, it is in the afternoon. And this morning, I just told you uh, told about how to do the uh, potato or sweet sweet potato starch business. Have our assistant show, already show you about the potato or of uh, uh, like sweet potato starch processing line have our assistant or our salesman have already show you that or not oh uh, plus five hours so right now it is 10 in the morning or i believe it is 10 in the morning right so i should say good morning to you welcome mahmoud i remember you sir welcome to the uh our live room and when i'm showing you about the gallery processing line and later i would like to show you about the potato or sweet potato starch processing line all right let's directly check about potato and sweet potato I would like to show you the sweet potato because it is kind of the same for potato and sweet potato. Yes, this is it. This it is it. Turn in the morning. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning. Wish you have a good day. All right, let's check about the sweet potato starch processing line and for this one it is basically about the workshop and normally uh, it is totally according to your needs for the workshop amount if you do have a lot of materials to do uh, you may need a bigger one welcome dn yeah you can just check about the videos here and all the equipments here because i believe if you come to our uh company really soon like our assistant will show you about this video again and they are more professional than me about our salesman and our engineering team they are they are much more pro uh, professional than me You can basically check about it and later I will show you about the single equipment that if you're interested in any of it, you can type, uh, type the name for that so that I can show you more. I mean, especially for the working, uh, for the washing part, it is kind of the same. The feeding hopper and this is the dry stuff, it is totally the same for, 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 for the washing part get rid of the uh, like the dry material or dry impurities like the wheat like the like the wood like the leaves or something just like that and normally we will set the dress up at, at the outside of the workshop 
and then this is our water uh, conveyor and there is a lot of uh, there we also set like the building hook on it so that it can efficient to remove about the uh, weeds or something just like and this is our destoner because sometimes uh, when we having about the raw material it will totally mix with the stoner uh, little stoner or something some uh, impurities like that welcome Kevin how are you welcome to the live and this one this equipment it is just uh, I just told you uh, it is the rotary rotary washing machine which it is uh, the like the working principle it is like the same but there are special there are differences because the inner design uh, for that paddle washing equipment, it is adopted multiply paddles, keep rotating, and push the uh, raw materials forward. But for this one, uh, it is different, and it have a. Uh, it is. I mean, for the damage, for uh, damage of the material, this one, this rotary washing machine is much better because it has really, really uh, low damage for the materials. So that you can obtain more potato or sweet potato starches by using the rotary washing machine. If you uh, compare uh, when you think about other companies washing machine, and he also adopt countercurrent washing principle. So the materials go in this way, and the water is totally against its way, against its direction. Hey Kevin, if you are still here, check about the equipment here. And for right now, we also using about the clean water to finally wash about the sweet potatoes and potato potatoes to make sure the quality. Uh, I mean, for uh, from now on, it is done with the washing part. Right now, it is about the. A processing part and we are using about a conveyor to do the transportation job and this one it is our cutting machine let me stop here let me stop here hold a second yeah this is our cutting machine for this cutting machine uh, the I mean it is get in touch with the potatoes it get, get in touch with the material so the uh, material it is 413 for CR 13 food grade so uh, bring no harm to human's body and uh, we adopt like the diamond shape of the knife. So it is really, really durable one, which you can use uh, this equipment about two years without any questions. And yes, without any questions. So if you like to know more for this cutting machine, I mean, two days earlier, I also showed you guys about the cutting machine uh, for the, especially for the processing, for the processing part, uh, all the equipment that we use, it is really high efficient. All right, let's keep checking about the video. This one, uh, for this equipment, it will cut all the materials into small pieces, like uh, two, two, three, two, two, four, three, two, four pieces, uh, two, three cm or four cm pieces to make sure like for the later uh, material, uh, later equipment, it can have a better effect. And then we just set another uh, screw conveyor to do the transportation job. And then we have our grating machine here. And before that, we just set uh, a magnetic separator. A magnetic separator to separate about the irons or some uh, magnetic uh, small things in case there it is mixed with one small irons or um, those things. Because the magnetic separator, it, it is not expensive at all. But if it is mixed with uh, iron items, it will totally damage about the whole processing line, or it will totally damage about uh, the the cutting machine or like the you know the grating or the equipment. How are you, Malina? I now welcome to the lab. This is Oliver from Honan Doing Company, and right now for this one, it is our uh, rasper. 
our like assistant, uh, our salesman know more about the Raspberry than me. So if you want to know more about the Raspberry, contact it to our salesman or just uh, cut without peeling. Uh, you mean for the potato or sweet potato one, right? Let me show you that. Because the potato and uh, sweet potato, we have done a lot of steps before. And if you do want the peeling, uh, you, can, you can also have one of the peeling machine, but uh, it is to totally according to your needs. This is the dry side, and then we have this rotary, uh, rotary uh, equipment here. Like, uh, Basher, if you want to know, uh, it, does it have the peeling part or not, you can contact to the salesman. They know much more than me because I am just the person who showing about this uh, uh, during the live here. And this is the rotary uh, washing equipment and we do have the hooking, uh, weeding, weeding hook set on the conveyor, above the conveyor. And then we have, this is the rotary washing machine. And after that one, we do have this one. Uh, I mean, you can see from here. Hold a second. There is net set uh, on the bottom of this conveyor. And by the way, there is like uh, this mesh belt conveyor. So it will get rid of the water content and there uh, also spray water pipe it is totally clean water to remove about the impurities and then through the bucket elevator, get into the next station. Welcome back. And then this is our rasper. The more I want to show you is about how to make uh, the, the, it more pure, more high quality. Yes, because we have done a lot of uh, washing steps, the whole materials, the, all the material is totally clean. And for this one, yes, for this one, it is our centrifuge side. Uh, it is the most high efficient equipment here, which I want to uh, show you the details for this centrifuge side. And we do have a, this one in stock. And for this one, how does this uh, working? For this equipment, the, especially for potatoes or sweet potato starch centrifuge screen, uh, is a kind of screen screening equipment, and it is mainly used in sweet potatoes or starch production line. Mainly used to screen wet potato starch pulp, fiber components, improve the quality of finished starch, starch and the starch centrifuge. Uh, a level of sweet potato starch production line is generally determined according to customer demand, and it is often. Uh, equipped with fine slag side for screen work and the main principle for this one it is uh, composed of a screen door and feed duct, spander, motor, side basket, screen mesh, powder chamber and a slag chamber. And also for this uh, centrifuge uh, screen uh, it is stainless steel material design clean health and no rust, in line with food safety standards. How are you? Gash? S-H-E-M-A-G-I, welcome to the live. This is Oliver from Hunan uh, Dream Company. Our company is mainly focusing on the producing and processing a line, especially for Gary, potato, sweet potato, or uh, cassava starch, cassava flour processing line. So if you're interested about this thing, uh, stay in the live. And right now I'm showing you about the potato and sweet potato starch business. And uh, the 
dynamic balancing of currency of the side basket it is like G62 uh, 6.3 and the high position dynamic balancing instrument it is used to correct to ensure the stable operation of the equipment and the high pressure washing design of the positive and negative screen surface can effectively reducing reduce clogging and ensure the normal operation of starch production line the overall design of sweet potato starch uh, centrifuge screen is reasonable uh, low energy consumption stable operation pulp and slug separation effect is really good so this is our centrifuge and let's keep checking it and i believe after this video uh the i will end my life so if you do have any questions our salesman will explain it to you really really uh, specific continuous centrifuge future yes that is it and if you want to have the high quality of the centrifuge future you can have a multiply one like six or five the more you have the more the more the uh, more high quality uh, of the, the starch you have and for this equipment it is how we use it to remove about the residue inside of the uh, starches to make sure the final quality is relatively high. How are you? Welcome to the live. And this is our descender. For this descender, uh, I mean the weight for the for our Gary uh, for our starch and for the fine sand is totally different. So we using about the descender to remove about the sand, the fine sand. I mean, even though we have done a lot of process to remove about the impurities, but in case there is something it is mixing in in the uh, starch, so we do set of the descender over there. And right now, check about this equipment. This is really high efficient and. Uh, for this one, hydrocyclone. <laughs> this equipment is called hydrocyclone, and let me explain uh, how how to use it for this equipment. There are pre uh, previous clients very curious about how do we using about uh, the the uh, hydrocyclone equipment here. I mean. Uh, it is the best equipment for refining, washing, and con uh, concentrating the crude starch milk after uh, separating most of the op uh, protein. And uh, uh, other light, light sub substance by the separator. It may uh, it, it, it by many groups of countercurrent uh, series and can replace about the separation you need to use. It, it has a really small area than for centrifuge process. Simple structure, no vibration, and really convenient maintenance, reliable operation, and other advantages. And the production of the same quality of starch than with the centrifuge process is to save about like 50% investment and easy to operate. Uh, maintenance cost, it is relatively low, uh, so that uh, it is it is one of the equipment with high promotion value in the starch industry and uh, <laughs> is it necessary for using a cyclone yes it is very uh, necessary to you think about this hydrocyclone the screen core starch meal contains a certain amount of protein and these protein par uh, particles are small, but the time is too long. It can accum uh, accumulate into a group so that the separation effect is uh, greatly reduced. 
so it should be separated as soon as possible. And if the primary separation is done by the separator, the refining and the washing starch can be uh, completed by six to nine stage uh, hydrocyclone, and the overflow yellow pump can be re recovered before returning to, to, to the separator. How this one working? The hydrocyclone use uh, starch industry belongs to a leaky hydrocyclone. Uh, its working principle is uh, similar to that of the gas cyclone. It is separated by centrifuge force and suspension position with different specific gravity of uh, particles. And the material enters in the uh, tangential position of the cyclone tube at a certain pressure. It, it is rotates in the tube and produces a larger centrifuge force. The larger particles move down along the tube wall and are discharged by the bottom flow hole, while the smaller particles move up near to the center and are discharged by the overflow port. So that is how this hydrocyclone working. Welcome NYM, welcome to the live. And before ending the live, let's keep checking for this video. Welcome Brad Bao, welcome to the live. This is Oliver from Holland Doing Company and uh, pipe machine. Yes, right now you, are, you guys can check over here. This is our hydrocyclone equipment here. Is it possible to collect protein for use in making animal? Animal what? Animal fuel, right? Uh, you can check, uh, you can, uh, check with our, like, our salesman. I believe uh, they have already do you, yeah, I believe you have already have our salesman a salesman's number. You can check uh, check this question with with our salesman. I'm not clear for this question, but later I will also check it, check with our salesman or our engineering team. The more hydrocyclone equipment you have, and the more high quality, the more quality of the starch you have. And then we have our dewatering equipment, uh, which it is totally different from uh, that one uh, inside of the gallery processing line. Because for that one, oh, what happened with the, it is not moving at all. It is frozen. Wow, yes, sorry for the lagging. Yeah, this is our dewatering equipment. Yeah, next, next line. I will totally explain everything about this dewatering equipment, which it, it has a totally working principle with that uh, hydraulic presser. This one, how, uh, how this working is totally different. Oh my god, I do not know what happened with this video, but it keeps lagging just like this. Welcome, Kiana. Welcome to the live, how are you? Oil press machine. Oh, you are interested about the oil press machine, right? Uh, if this is your first time to come to the live, this is Oliver from Holland Dream Company, which our company is mainly uh, focusing on the, the uh, Gary processing line, uh, starch, potato or sweet potato starch processing line. I'm so sorry for uh, about this video, it's keep lagging, which I don't know why. Anyway, so if you like to do the starch or like uh, potato or sweet potato starch business, gallery processing line, you can just put your question in the comment because like uh, four minutes later, I'm about to end in my life. And if you do have any questions about the galleries or potatoes, sweet potatoes, put your question in the comment or directly contact to our salesman. Uh, you can leave your WhatsApp number at this part so they can reach you really, really soon. And by the way, we do have the all the equipment inside the factory. And if you do want to visit about our company or our factory, you can also reach to us. Uh, our assistant can tell you how to have a visit for our 
company and our factory and if you didn't about uh, sub subscribe about this channel do subscribe this live so that next time we do live you'll be noticed because sometimes we will bring our live stream directly to the factory to show you the real equipment how the workers it is producing about the equipment and the, what is the material for different uh, equipment or uh, what is the capacity can we make it bigger can we make it smaller and the specific details we would like to show you about that uh, anyway so if you do interested about our company or our factory or our equipment here, uh, just leave a message so that we can reach to you and show more 3D video, more pictures, more feedback from our previous clients so that you can know more about us. And by the way, this is Oliver and I believe today's live is about to end really soon. Uh, I don't know, know what happened with the, uh, with the video here. I will uh, close it because it is really lagging here which I don't like it. All right, all right, all right. And before I go, you are still here, Basher. I'm so sorry about the barrier vacuum uh, filter. Yes, I'm so sorry about the video here, but this video is keep, uh, keep lagging. And I do not know, uh, too, this is too bad. I do not know how to solve the problems anyway. My life uh, will be end really soon and wish our assistant or our salesman can give you the best answer. And uh, I would like to say it again, welcome to have a visit for our company or for our factory. We are all waiting here for you to have a visit in our company. And okay, that will be all for today's live. You can, oh, you just, <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, anyway, uh, that's all for today's live dryer. Yeah, that is a dryer. But anyway, uh, that's all for today's live. And uh, if you'd like to know more, talk to our salesman. They are waiting for you in 24 hours. So contact you, uh, contact you, contact you to our salesman. And that will be all for today's live. And wish you have a good day, Basher. Have a good day. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.他一直就是出去进来出去进来出去进来因为我他在这边问的问题他会重复到那个信息上咱们我这边就是在答完之后然后他就收到一条我们业务员检查他的一个一个一个一个信息他就又出去然后回回那个人之后他再进来然后继续